Today we're talking all about Icon Art Smart Screen Stencils using their custom stencil kit. By now you've either bought a kit or you're thinking about buying one. So today I'm going to walk you through everything that comes in the kit and exactly how you use it. Okay, so you got your kit, here's what's inside. You've got your exposure unit which also has the UV light. It also comes with a black piece of heavy cardstock. You also get photosensitive film, five sheets come in this pack. You get a clipboard, a squeegee, and then you also get a pack of laser printer film and inkjet printer film. You're gonna use either one of these based on the printer that you have at home. So in addition to these supplies, you either need a laser or an inkjet printer. You're also going to need a sink with hot water, either really good water pressure, or you're also gonna need a spray nozzle. All right, are you guys ready to get started? Let's do it. Once you've created your design, it's time to print it out. Keep in mind, you can design something digitally or you can hand draw it and scan it into your computer, but you do need to print it. So within your kit, you get inkjet printer film and you get laser printer film. Most people commonly have an inkjet printer at home, so we're gonna start with that. Once you pull out your paper, it's important to hold it up and you need to look through it so that you can figure out which side of it is more milky. You want to print on the milky side, and by milky, I mean cloudy. So when you look through it, you'll notice that it's much more cloudy versus looking on the other side. So print on the milky side, and once you print it out, your design will look like this. Now, if you're using a laser printer, your film is gonna look like this. The most important part when you're using a laser printer is before you print your image, in the printer settings, you must mirror your image. So that means when it prints out, it looks backwards. That's gonna be important when it comes to the process of creating your stencil. All right, we're ready to go. We're gonna create it using our UV unit. Next, we've got our supplies laid out to create our stencil. You're going to need the photosensitive film and then your design. Now, we're going to make a sandwich. <laughs> we're going to start with our heavy black cardstock down on our exposure unit. Then we're gonna open up our photosensitive film. Keep in mind, you do not wanna take out your film until right before you're ready to get started because it is sensitive to light. Pull out just one piece and what you will note is that there is a textured side, okay? So there's a smooth side and there's a textured side. We wanna place our textured side up. So you can feel that texture, that side is up. Next, we're gonna go back in our bag and within our bag comes a clear film. We're gonna get this out because we're gonna use this in just a second. Now, whether you're using the laser or the inkjet printer, the most important part is that when you place your design down, you're looking at it, you can read it. So it is readable. So make sure, because remember, you reversed that design, go ahead and make sure it's readable. Now, for our inkjet, that's not a problem. We didn't have to reverse it. We're going to use that one. Placing it down, and then we're going to take our clear sheet that came in our photosensitive film packet, and we're gonna put that on top. So, nice little sandwich. Now, we're going to plug in our exposure unit so that the UV light comes on. The light will come on, and we're going to time it for 35 seconds of exposure. We're at 35 seconds, so we're gonna unplug the unit. You'll notice the light goes off. Now we're gonna take apart our sandwich. So we're going to remove our clear top. We're also going to remove our design. Keep in mind, this is also reusable. We're going to take off our film. Now, look, it looks like nothing happened. This is normal, so don't be alarmed. I promise it worked, okay? Now you got this clipboard in your kit. You're going to put down the film on the clipboard with the textured side up. And then we're gonna take this to our sink to watch the magic happen. You wanna hold your clipboard slightly angled inside your sink. Make sure that you have hot water, and we're gonna use our nozzle. We're going to spray over the words and watch the magic happen. Once your design is completely revealed, you'll notice that there is no excess film within your design, it's completely see-through. We're gonna to wanna to take a paper towel and lightly dab our design to remove excess water. You can either take this design and hang it to dry for 45 minutes, 
or you can use an air dryer to dry it for two to three minutes. If you do use the air dryer to dry it, make sure that you let it cool for 15 minutes. The most important thing here, no matter which method you use, is that your stencil is completely dry before you use it. Once the stencil is dry, there's one more optional step before you use it. You can put it under the UV light for an additional 60 seconds to cure it even more. This is recommended for usability and durability of your stencil. It's not required, but I highly recommend it, especially if you're gonna use your stencil multiple times. So we're gonna put it under the light for 60 seconds. You do not need to put the plastic cover on it. Our stencil is completely dry. Let's take it to the craft room and start making some fun projects with it. All right, our stencil is ready to go, but one quick tip. I'm gonna actually flip it over and I'm gonna write just really quickly on the back the word back. Because when you're done with this stencil, you need to put it back on the clear case and you wanna know which side is the back. All right, so we're going to peel our stencil off of the backing, set our backing aside, and then I am using a chalkboard surface. You can use multiple different surfaces, including wood, glass, acrylic, fabric. I'm gonna center this design on my board, and then I'm gonna use my hands to lightly smooth out any bubbles. Next, I'm gonna use acrylic paint. You can use multiple different types of paint, including chalk paint, chalk paste. If you use a stain, you may need to add a thickener to it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a small amount of paint right above the top of my stencil. I'm gonna take my squeegee that was in my custom stencil kit and I'm gonna use it to pull the paint over my stencil design. I'm gonna do it slowly. You wanna make sure that your design is completely covered. Now I'm going to carefully lift my stencil straight up to reveal my design. Ta-da! <laughs> How pretty is the design? Now, what I wanna do while that dries is I'm actually going to take this along with my clipboard back to the sink to clean my stencil. Place your freshly clean stencil sticky side up on a flat surface. Then you wanna take your clear sheet and make sure that where you wrote back is readable to you. And then we're gonna use our squeegee to remove excess water. Allow your stencil to dry 30 to 40 minutes before you reuse it. Once you created your first stencil, the possibilities are endless. Remember that it is multi-surface, so you can use your stencils on all different types of materials, from chalkboard to wood to plexiglass and even fabric. There are so many ways that you can create with Icon Art stencils. You can always reorder extra supplies at iconartstencil.com, plus get more creative project ideas. Remember that the Icon Art team is always there to help you if you've got any questions or need some help. Thanks for crafting with us.